What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and what we're going to be talking about is how to build your Madden 19 Ultimate Team at launch for free. Now the first thing you're going to want to do right now if you're finishing up Madden 18 is to make sure that you're signed up to Mutt Rewards. Signing up to Mutt Rewards is a very very huge thing and that's going to help you get whatever they give out earlier in the game. Um, you're going to be able to have those things. Now they usually, typically they give you out, um, you know, pretty much, I, I don't want to say trash packs. Um, but they're not too good, right? So this is the situation, right? You're going to make sure that you're signed up to it. Um, the MUP Rewards is still available at your home screen, so you're going to want to just link your account to whatever you're playing on um, and make sure that that's set to go because a lot of you guys, after you just uh, joined the family, the G Myers World fam, you became uh, legendary with MUP Reward status. And you're like, yo, bro, I didn't get my uh, movie tickets from the last promo. Um, which was over here. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. The last promo, which was the blockbuster promo. Yo, G Maya, man, I didn't get my I didn't get my free tickets, man. I can't get my OBJ. I can't do what I want to do. Th there's a reason for that. There's a reason why you didn't get your tickets, uh, your free five tickets uh, from Mutt Rewards because you didn't have it done prior to the promo being released. So these are situations that we can prevent if now we're ready to go into the new year and you're already signed up and as you continue to grind, you get the things that they offer to you as it's released, okay? So for every promo that's released, as long as you're signed up to Mutt Rewards, you're going to get whatever it is that's free, all right? So now, now that we got the Mutt Rewards out of the way, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to focus on objectives and progress, okay? I tell my viewers all the time, you make sure, I don't care what you're doing, unless you're on vacation with the fam or whatever, uh, some of you guys are such psychos that you bring your console with you, I wouldn't recommend that, um, unless, you know, unless you, you're that kind of dude, you know, you're in your hotel room, you plug it up, whatever, um, if that's what you want to do, that's fine, I'm just saying that while you, you know, you do your regular everyday life, you go to work, you come home, you're with the fam, you have a little time to yourself, make sure you win two games, complete a set, purchase a pack from the store. This should be in Madden 19. The system seems to work well. Everybody seems to do it. It had something to do with completing the Mutt Master, so I don't think they're going to go away from that. You're going to want to make sure you're doing those things, okay? Remember, contracts are out of the game, so you're going to be able to grind a lot of solos and not have to worry about anything that has to do with, you know, contracts. Contract, let me just tell you something about contracts, right? Let me go to the store. For the last three years I've been playing Madden Ultimate Team, contracts has been what has cost me early in the year at launch because I don't open packs at launch so I don't get the free contracts that people used to get and I was spending so many coins you could see the prices of contracts contracts not being there you're going to be able to build your ultimate team for free in Madden 19 if you just follow these directions and make sure that you're grinding this is how I usually put it like this after the first two days you should be at about an 85 overall from just from just following these uh you know these tips and what I'm about to get to right now as far as the solos, okay? Just objectives in progress, being signed up to Mutt Rewards, and grinding solos. Um, you're going to get lucky. A lot of you guys that are watching this video right now, you're probably going to tweet me in Madden 19 and be like, yo, g -Mai, I just pulled 99 Jay-Z. You're going to be so happy at the beginning of the, um, you know, the launch of Madden 19 that nothing else will matter. Because a lot of the things that these guys get that are grinders, you guys have so much better pack luck than I do. So you go, you know, you're going to be in a much better boat. Here we go now. This is the biggest thing that you have to do. Whatever solos they have available, listen to me very, very, clear, very, very clearly. Whatever solos are available, you are going to do those solos. Okay? Now, I don't know how they're going to format it, but this is what they do. You're going to get things like this. You're going to get things like the gauntlet. It's probably not going to be called the gauntlet, whatever it's going to be. The point of this is they're going to be moments. All right, the moments are a lot shorter. They're, they look, go through them. Some of them are going to be like you know one quarter, one full quarter, whatever. But for the most part, it's all moments. Okay, you're going to do whatever it has in the beginning of it to be able to get whatever they're giving out, whatever free cards, whatever it is. Right? You, don't worry about it. More than likely, it's going to be nat cards. You're not going to be yo, bro. Why are you giving me nats? You're going to be raging. Don't worry about it. Right? Whatever free cards they give you, depending on the overall. We're going to take from that, and we're going to go to item sets. And more than likely, they're going to have sets here that you're going to be able to upgrade cards with. For instance, uh, my daily objective that I do right now, I go to player exchange, and um, you know I'll put players together and you know try to get rid of them and get higher overalls and stuff like that. Well, just to complete sets. But I'll just do this like today, right? Um, I'll do this set because I know I have a lot of these, and I still have 
so many more left. Like you're gonna see right there, I got 166. Um, I'll do this every day as you know, as far as completing that part of my daily objectives and progress, right? When it's at launch, remember the value of everything is extremely high. So we're gonna have to have a balance of what we sell and what we keep, all right? So if something is going for a very, very high price at launch and you just happen to have that card, I'm going to urge you to sell that card because that's how we're going to keep our, our coins in the bank. Remember, this is for free, so we're not going out like, yeah, let me just sneak this in. Let me see what's going on. And remember, a lot of you guys are going to be getting a Hall of Fame edition. Um, I will go over that, which one I'll be getting soon. I'm just trying to evaluate what legend I'm going to want or if I just want to grind from scratch because I don't really care about the different tiers. Like last year, I didn't get the the higher overall version, I got the basic version of Madden 18. And I just went and I just grinded and I was right there with everybody else for free, having my team compete at a highest, you know, at the highest level um, at start. So pretty much this, what we're doing right now, understanding what cards we're going to use, where we're going to be going with it. I don't know if they're going to give us more loyalty like they did um, with Madden 18, but if they do, you know, I'll go over that as well. All right. So now look, whatever cards they were giving us from the solos, like I said, we're going to keep Whatever, whatever we need to keep for our lineup, and then we're going to sell everything else, all right? Whatever the value is to keep coins in our bank and keep our ultimate team the right way, you know, based on what we're going to be doing. Now, right now, I'm a 98 overall. I recently sold some players because I had to get uh, Terrell Pryor back. I, I couldn't deal with Damarino. Damarino is straight garbage. They nerfed him. They did whatever. It doesn't matter, right? All right. Now, this is the next step about building your team, okay? Madden is based on one thing speed okay most veteran madden players they are really disappointed with the way madden has gone simply because after madden 16 when uh, brashad perriman was going buck wild um they patched the game and they made it harder for the free release for guys to just go which is that's the way it's always been if you go back to like what madden was that was that like um it might have been like what was it oh four well oh four was excellent as far as the speed threshold randy moss and boys oh wait was still good whenever you get past someone they made it realistic. Like, you couldn't just, you know, slide into people and stuff like that. That's new next-gen stuff that's going on right now within the game, right? So, regardless of that situation, I'm going to still urge you guys to go with specific attributes from your players. So, we're gonna, no matter if the player is garbage or not, we're going to look for speed at the wide receiver position. We're not going to worry about run block and, yo, ha, yo, yo what, what's this guy's yo, agility? What, yo, what's his backflip? We're not doing all that. We're looking strictly for speed, so maybe like a, a base Tyreek Hill, look for Deshaun Jackson. That's what you're looking for at the wide receiver position. With the introduction of one cut, you're going to be looking for an elusive back, okay? I don't care what the elusive back is because I don't know how truck's going to work because they've been putting so much emphasis on the one cut throughout the blogs. So because the one cut, just think of it like this. If you played Madden 18 early, you remember how glitchy the spin move was? Like you could spin move 19 people at the same time. That's what we're looking for with the one cut, being able to just be elusive, get off and just go. All right. So we're looking for any, bro, I don't care. I will let you guys know though, which way we're going with it, but I just want you to understand that's what we're looking for. So as far as the power back, I don't know about which route we're going to go with that as of yet, but as I said, I will keep you guys informed and up to date with what's actually going on. All right, O-line, you're looking for impact block. You're looking for the lowest overall with high impact block. You're not trying to get high elites and be an idiot and spend all your coins and just be stupid. You're trying to get the highest impact block for a base amount, okay? Low amount, I'm going to also walk you through with that. Tight end, you know, I got to see how tight ends work and how the format is with, you know, what's going on, how you catch. I got to see if everything remains the same. Keep in mind that the beta is not the way that the actual game is going to be. So for those of you guys that got the beta, just understand that. That's just something that they're trying to figure out certain bugs with that's going to help format the game for a better experience. Don't feed too much into the way the game is actually playing right now on the beta for Madden 19. But we're going to see how these guys actually catch their maneuvering and things that they do along those lines. Okay, so impact block for the O-line. Um, we're looking for elusive, elusive, all right? So when you go to the card, you should be looking at, you see where he has 98 elusiveness? Looking for stuff like that is going to help you because the one cut is going to be based off that. And I'm going to go more in depth in that uh, in the future so you guys understand what's going on. Wide receiver, you're looking for speed. Uh, I wouldn't say height right now because I don't know how they're going to release it. And a lot of these guys that are legends, they're not going to be available at launch. 
And some of the taller receivers like Julio Jones and stuff like that, they're going to be very expensive at launch. So we're going to go over that as well. Defensively, the corners, to start, speed. Corners, speed. All right? Defensive linemen. I don't know right now how finesse move is going to compare to block shed. Obviously, this year, early on when the game first started, finesse move was glitchy. They switched it off to, um, you know, block shed. And overall, a lot of people complain that the defense has played the same regardless. So we would have to go over that at launch. And I will make sure that you have that information. All you got to do is message me on Twitter like, Yo, Jemiah, you remember about what you said you're going to do? If I forget to get it out as soon as possible, um, that will be something I will make sure you guys know because... A lot of the information that I gave you guys really helped you guys get wins and build your team to the optimal level. So right now, um, most of these guys, you know, I got guys with 99 block shed like Kevin Williams, and I also got high guys with finesse move um, with uh, Julius Peppers. So I created a balance which works very well for me with the way that I run my 4-3 my defense. Um, you're going to need at least one Anthony Barr, okay, or Leonard Floyd. I don't care what the price is. Those are going to be your user linebackers, all right? Don't worry about it. S strong safety, free safety, we're looking for speed. Kicker is ideal. Okay? So make sure you... We're going to talk about that soon, but you're going to try to find something. You're going to want to make sure that your kicker is, is very, very suitable because what's going to happen in the solos is... For instance, right? Let's go back to Madden uh, 18 at the beginning just so you guys understand what I'm saying. They had solos that they would ask you to just make a field goal. And it was very difficult to make field goals in Madden 18 because they changed the whole kicking process. So I had to use all of the coins that I earned from this, like right here. I couldn't make a 30-yard field goal to save my life with my kicker that I had to start with. It was like a Browns idiot. I don't know who he was, but it doesn't matter. So things like this, if they do this, you're going to want to make sure. And even if they don't do it, and you're going to be playing like salary cap mode or anything like that to start off. Because remember, they're going to be giving you guys rewards for playing salary cap. So remember, with the salary cap mode, you don't have to have a sick team. You're playing up. You're playing against guys that you know whatever. It's like for the rankings and stuff like that. If you guys are going to compete, and um, your team doesn't have to be overall really sick. You just got to put the right cards in the right places. So that can also help you get coins starting off as well. The seasons is going to be a little bit more difficult depending on you know how your skill level is. So I would recommend salary cap first. Even mutt drafts. And stuff like that. That should still be in the game. I, I believe that's going to be in the game as well. That's going to maybe cost you a couple tickets but give you decent rewards. But we'll get into that later to make sure. But remember, all this stuff, I don't want you really spending anything. So if you do decide to do salary cap, uh, in the store there should be a way for you to buy tickets from the coins that you earn in solos. So you see what I'm saying? But it's just very expensive. So you're going to have to make sure that you're winning games if you want to do it that way. Okay? In the future, depending on what weekend, what legend comes out, I will let you know when it's suitable to try to get packs. But we don't want to be pack addicts. We don't want to be, you know, it, you know I, I just don't want you guys to go crazy with it. And if you're new and you don't understand why you're getting straight garbage, uh, what's going on, I have to make sure. Maybe they, they change the pack odds. There's things coming out that they're going to be giving you guys a percentage of what you could possibly get in the future to make it a little bit more transparent with the packs. So maybe that works out for us. But I will always let you guys know which packs I'm buying and um, why I'm buying them so that you can have more of an understanding. But pretty much that's how you're going to build your team. Mutt rewards, objectives in progress, solos, and you're going to look for specific attributes in these players to make sure that you're getting what is most valuable in the game at the start. With that, you're going to get more wins online, Mutt champions, whatever like that. Mutt draft, obviously, is just straight drafting players, but, you know, Mutt champions, seasons, salary cap... Once you know which players mean the most, we're going to go out there on the gridiron and we're going to get those wins and get those coins from that and continue to build our team early. And just stay tuned so I can give you more information about which positions are going to be more ideal. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Definitely subscribe now. Turn on post notifications because we're very, very close to Madden 19 and you're going to want to be a part of this channel. I'm going to talk to you guys and girls later. Enjoy your day. One love.